flowers. So they show this guy in one of the little commercials, and he throws flour at the uh, blowtorch. And I'd never done that before, so I thought, what the heck, I'll give it a try tonight. And so I tried it for the first time back there where you're sitting, and that's why your pants are all white. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to take some flour and put it in here, and I'm going to get behind this thing. And if I do it right, of course that's unlikely. I should be able to make the smell of. There we there go. You go. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's just like on TV. I'm very excited. Wow. Yeah, that, that, thank you. I wanted to uh, do something with dry ice, too. Uh, dry ice is spectacular stuff. In fact, when people talk about um, can I be you, the only reason they want to be chemists is so that they can have all the dry ice and all the liquid nitrogen they can ever use. We'll be doing a lot of stuff with liquid nitrogen in a little bit, and liquid nitrogen is minus a couple hundred degrees. And as you can imagine, there's lots of cool stuff you can do at minus 200 degrees. But even at minus 50 degrees or so, with dry ice pellets, you can do fun stuff. Um, let me show you something kind of interesting about water in Texas. Uh, we sit on limestone, and because we sit on limestone, our water is at a pH that um, um, is remarkably higher than we think. You know, people are all scared about pH, and they think, oh, if it's not pH 7, something terrible is going on. And yet, if you're in Los Angeles, and you turn on the faucet, and you get yourself some water, the pH is somewhere in the four and a half to five range. And if you're in Texas, and you turn on the faucet, and the water comes out, it's somewhere in the pH 9 or so range. And for that matter, if I'm drinking some tonic water, my pH is down around 2 and a half or 3. So there's nothing all that dangerous about pH if you're somewhere in the 2 and a half to 9 or 10 sort of range when it's time to drink it. And I just wanted to show this to you. This is some water um, right out of the tap here in the uh, state of Texas. <laughs> <laughs> but I have added an indicator to, so you can see an indication of the truth I'm about to show you, which is that this is pH uh, 9 water. And so at pH 9, this universal indicator is somewhere in the bluish purplish sort of range. Sitting in there right now is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is um, actually an acid. If you put it in the water, it makes carbonic acid. And there's this great demonstration I do with students at Valentine's Day, where I take some phenol phthalene, which is kind of a pinkish sort of color, and um, I put it into some water. Oh, by the way, phenol phthalene, you may not know this, used to be the active ingredient in x -lax. And anybody in here who's a scientist is aware that back in the 40s and 50s and 60s, there was no better time to be had than to take phenol phthalene indicator and find a graduate student friend of yours and just dip it into their drink. These days, they have that sort of knockout drug stuff. Back then, they just got the runs from this. Now, uh, the thing about uh, carbonic acid is, like, like I said, it's, 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 it's um, 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 acidic pH. So what you do is you get a couple of lovebirds sitting there, and you've got a couple of straws going in there into what appears to be a nice, uh, clear sort of solution, and you blow into it until it turns it pink, and it's very romantic. We're going to do something <laughs> approximately like that here right now, as I put about pH 9 in here. And you get to watch it as it changes colors. Wow. About wow. that. As it goes from about, about pH 9 it's down orange. to about That's two 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 orange. <laughs> <laughs> Very exciting. The other thing I wanted to show you was this really cool um, kind of weapon that I've invented. I use this in my classes all the time to teach them about um, uh, pressure volume expansion work. And so you put yourself um, a container, a sunny delight bottle like that, and some caps. Where's my other cap here? Oh, here. oh there it is. And then you get yourself some dry ice. Now, you may wonder why I'm putting dry ice in my hands like this. It's because I lost all feeling in my body years ago. <laughs> this is serious. You would not do this, but I can't feel stuff anymore. So you put these in here. Uh, Chef um, uh, Josh and I are going to have this duel. 
And are you ready for the duel? Absolutely. All right, here's how this is going to work. Okay, so you got the right cap. I'll let you choose your weapon here. And we're going to sit here. So you've got your side there. I've got mine. And we're going to uh, take three steps. We're going to turn and we're going to fire. Now, the way this works is that when you put the cap on it, and I put the cap on mine, and then we we basically make, what do they call those things? Bombs. <laughs> and when this bomb explodes, we have to turn like this. Neither of us go blind. When you put the cap on it, you point it down, you take two step holds, oh, this is going to hurt. Two steps, turn, and fire. Okay, so how about we don't have